do for your family makes you weak. You're wrong. My family, that's what makes me strong. Family, 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 family. All right, so I saw Blue Beetle over the weekend. I wanted to, uh, you know, wait a day or so to gather my thoughts about it. And is it just me, or has every DC film for like the last like five years been about family? It seems like that's the only theme they can come up with with a lot of these movies. You know, Justice League, the Shazam movies, Suicide Squad, both Suicide Squads. It's all about, you know, an adopted family or your actual family. And in this case, in Blue Beetle, it's like, you know, your family makes you stronger. That's the whole theme of the movie. And for once, I would like them to make a movie about how, you know, if you have a toxic family, how you need to, like, get them out of your lives, cut them out of your lives, and, you know, move on and stuff like that from your family. I think that would be an interesting theme from a movie. But yeah, you know, if you've seen the uh, Fast and Furious films, you already know what this film's about. I don't have friends. I got family. But you know, that family stuff is not really a complaint. It's just a theme I've noticed with a ton of these uh, DC movies. Overall, I think they executed it well. In Blue Beetle and I grew up with you know Latin friends going into their houses it was a lot like that you know the whole family was there Nana was there so they really captured that family dynamic there it's pretty spot-on for me uh, I feel like George Lopez was a big standout in the movie you know I haven't really seen him in a movie in a long time and he stole every scene he was in he was hilarious in every scene he was in he played like the uncle that's into conspiracies and stuff he's always checking for bugs always worried that the government is spying on them and i thought you know george lopez was a great addition to the movie most of the humor came from his character and i feel like all of it pretty much landed with him and i really like the color scheme of the movie there's a lot of blues and purples they used in the movie and i really liked it it was very vibrant very comic booky and Blue Beetle in the comics is more of a family-friendly hero. He's a comic book you would give to like a younger reader as an introduction to comics and stuff. And I feel like this is a really good like start. This is a great like first chapter in a new like DC universe on screen. I know James Gunn came out and said that Blue Beetle is the first character in his DCU. Uh, but technically the movie's not connected to the DCU. But there's nothing say it's not connected. You know what I'm saying? The movie itself, Blue Beetle, is a standalone movie. It doesn't rely on any other superhero movie. It doesn't rely on a multiverse. It doesn't rely on, you know, a huge cast of characters. It is focused on Blue Beetle and his story. The guy from uh, Karate Kid that plays Blue Beetle, he's excellent in this movie. And I see why Warner Bros. is pretty high on him. They want to keep him around as Blue Beetle and James Gunn wants to do the same. Uh, he's a young actor and he's very good. He's very convincing. One critique, little nitpick really, I have of his character in Blue Beetle was that he kept doing the same mannerisms over and over. He kept doing the same like, oh, stop, 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 I don't mean to do this, you know, no, 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 no. He kept doing that like over and over for like the first, you know, half of the movie. Um, when he's like getting his powers and stuff, like he doesn't want his powers and everything. He just kept doing the same things over and over. The same little like ticks and mannerisms and that was getting a little uh, annoying, but by the end of the movie... His character does evolve a little bit. The villain in this movie is Susan Sarandon, and you know, kind of a big actor to have as a villain in the movie. I, you know, I haven't seen her since uh, Bull Durham. You know, that's the big movie I know her from. And essentially, her whole character is do it for the greater good. She says that literally like a hundred times in the movie. <laughs> All right, maybe not that much, but she says it enough times that it gets a little repetitive. That the only thing this villain says is for the greater good. How can this be for the greater good? The greater good. Shut it! That's all she says. And she has a henchman that fights all the battles for her. And she has this uh, Latin computer guy she keeps calling by the wrong name, and it's, it's kind of hilarious. And she serves her purpose for the movie, but it's nothing that stands out, which is kind of, you know, disappointing because it is Susan Sarandon. She is a very good actress, but nothing really stood out. Uh, I like how they integrate the old Blue Beetle, like the original Blue Beetle from the comics and stuff like that. And he was like the first generation one. And he couldn't unlock uh, the scarab that went inside Reyes and turned him into the modern day Blue Beetle. The original Blue Beetle was not able to unlock that. So he started inventing a bunch of gadgets. And he actually pops up in the mid credit scene as a you know little cameo at the end. Leading into a sequel, which I hope the film gets. I know it's probably not going to make a ton of money, but originally it was just going to be a HBO Max exclusive, so it wasn't going to make any box office. And then they put it in theaters, and now it's going to make something. 
it probably won't set the world on fire. I'm hoping for, you know, this movie to get good word mouth because I feel like people are walking out of the movie enjoying it. I enjoyed it. I'm interested to see uh, what a sequel will bring. They set it up nicely. They did everything, you know, by the books. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That everything in this superhero movie you've probably seen in every other superhero movie, but they executed very well in this movie. It is enjoyable to watch. Does it stick with you after you leave the theater? Probably not. You might forget about the movie after a couple days. It certainly has not stuck with me like The Flash has. I mean, the emotional heights in Flash, I feel like, totally are leaps and bounds above the emotional heights in Blue Beetle. There's one emotional moment with uh, his dad having a heart attack and dying in the movie. And I just felt like it's a little over dramatic in the movie. And the sister of Blue Beetle, she wasn't very good. I feel like she was overacting a lot in that moment. And it kind of pulled me out of the movie. But other than that, I had no problems with the whole movie. I'll probably buy it, you know, watch it again sometime in the future. But it's not something that I'm dying to see again. A lot like Shazam 2, you know, it's a very passable, serviceable film. It does what it sets out to do. It doesn't really rely on any other movies. It's its own standalone thing, which I think is nice. Good film for the kids. There's nothing that gratuitous in it. A couple butt jokes, a couple penis jokes, but other than that, you know, it's pretty tastefully done. Really thought George Lopez was a huge standout. Once again, you know, he is the highlight of the movie. And uh, you're probably gonna like it. If you like the Shazam movies, I think you're gonna really like Blue Beetle. It's in the same vein. But you know, that's all I gotta say about it. I would give it like a solid 8 out of 10 probably. Maybe 7.5, you know, around that level. It's a great first introduction of a new character. And there are some great visual moments too uh, later on in the film. You get a, like a Sistine Chapel shot with Blue Beetle and his suit because he's like becoming one with his suit. It's a great little shot. And uh, I kind of wish the film did a little bit more of that. We played with the, that kind of imagery a little bit more. That would be pretty cool, but it was nice to see that at least they were making an effort in this movie. The director was trying to you know, make some kind of effort with the visuals. And that's nice too. So between a seven or eight out of 10 is probably where I landed. Oh, and music was good. Music was very good, very serviceable. Nothing felt out of place, which is usually a problem I have with a lot of superhero movies is that sometimes you'll hear music like pop music pop in the movie and it just feels way out of place. Nothing like that in this movie. All the music that they use fit and all the orchestral music I thought was pretty good too. I like the theme they came up with for Blue Beetle. I enjoyed myself while watching the movie, but it's not really sticking with me. And I probably won't rewatch it until it comes out on video. I'm not rushing back to theaters to go see it, honestly. Like I did with Flash. And I went to theaters like six times for Flash because I enjoyed it that much. Not what I'm really going to do for Blue Beetle. So that's it. Comment below, let me know what you thought. And we'll see you all in the next one. Personally, I don't feel like DC has made a truly bad film since Black Adam. And the only reason I say Black Adam is bad is because it really had no story to it. And Black Adam himself, played by Dwayne Johnson, was just so bad. He was just so wooden in it that it's almost unwatchable to watch the movie. Unless you put it on mute and you just watch it for like the action. You know, like that's a good reason to watch it. Every film DC's made since then has been solid to great. The online hate these movies are getting is just absolutely ridiculous. If these movies were released five years ago, they'd be getting like, you know, standing ovations. They'd be getting praised like crazy. They'd be getting a lot of money. The over hate is so forced and fake. It's like so ridiculous. But anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you on the next one. And if you don't like honesty, uh, don't subscribe to my channel. Uh, bye bye for now. Family, 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 family. Shut it!